Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I've got a bit of a flu, so if my voice sounds a bit different, that's because I've got a cough and a flu. But I was gonna make this gobi gosh today, so I, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. Here I got three pounds of mutton leg, which I've cleaned and washed, and I'll put it on the gas, and I'm gonna add about 10 cloves of garlic and two pieces of ginger to this. Also, I've got three medium sized onions that go in there. I'm making this amount for my family, but you can make it about amount you like. This is just a rough estimate, and I've got five medium tomatoes. And I'm going to add the simple masalas that I usually do. This is chili powder to your taste. I'm just going to put one and a half teaspoon, and this is. Kashmiri red chilli powder. This has got no heat to it. It just gives it a nice colour. And I'm going to put one teaspoon of haldi. And that's the masalas for now. And also, sorry, just two teaspoons of salt or to taste. I'm going to give this a good mix. And then I'm going to put some dry whole masalas in here as well. In the whole spices, I'm going to add some cloves. It's about six, seven o'clock. I'm gonna add two black cardamoms. I'm just gonna add two pieces of cinnamon and one bay leaf. Just gonna give this a good mix. I'm gonna cook this like without adding water for about five to 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna add the water and let this cook until it's nice and soft. After 10 minutes cooking like this, on a high heat, I'm gonna add some boiling water. Let's cover the meat and then you can put it on the low heat when it comes to a boil with the lid on and every so often just give it a mix and see how the meat is getting on and if the meat is still hard and the water has evaporated you could add some more so i'm gonna let this cook and then we'll show you how it looks so this is about 80 percent cooked now and i'm gonna leave the lid off and dry all this liquid so the meat doesn't go too soft. What I've done is taken the skins of the tomatoes and I'm going to take this piece of ginger out as well. And that's done its job. As, that's why I cut the tomatoes in half and it's easier to just, just take the skin off. Now I'm going to dry this and then we're going to go to the next step. So while the water is drying up in the goat meat, I'm going to cook this gobi or cauliflower on the side. What I usually do is just cut it and wash it and put it in a pan and I'm going to add a tiny bit of water in here and I'm going to bring it to a boil and then I'm going to put a lid on and steam it. This is the best way to cook gobi gosh, that's why the way I like it and you give it a try and you will like it this way as well, it's much easier and quicker. So this has come to a boil, let's give it a good mix. I'm going to turn the heat on really low, but keep on mixing it because I haven't put that much water in it, as you can see, and you don't want it to stick to the pan. It will release its own liquid as well. So I'm just going to put the lid down and let it cook for about five to six minutes. So guys, the cauliflower is ready. As you can see, it's not fully cooked, about 90%. I'm going to switch this off. There's no liquid left in there. This is how we want it. So most of the liquid has dried up. What I'm going to do is add oil. Use any cooking oil that you use at home. Mix it good. Now I'm going to add some ground up spices. This is just cumin powder. And coriander powder. I'm going to put quite a bit of coriander powder, about three teaspoons. That just gives it a lovely taste and smell. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to cook this for about a good 10 minutes on a high heat and then I'll show you how it looks. After 10 minutes it should be looking like this. What I'm going to do is I've cut some ginger into like thin strips and a couple of chilies, I'm just going to add that, leave some for the garnish and also I'm going to add some coriander to this now as well. 
not all the coriander, just a bit. And the rest we're gonna use in a bit. Give it a good mix. And now I'm gonna cook this for another 10 minutes until it's nice and cooked thoroughly. After 10 minutes, and you can see all the liquid has dried up and the oil is coming away from the masala. So this is ready to add the gobi. Add the oil in there. Make sure you put everything in there. And all I'm going to do is give it a good mix. Guys, if you like the gobi to be like this, stay like whole. Don't mix it too much, but if you want it really mushy, then you can go and turn for stirring it. But what I'm going to do is give this a good mix. Make sure all the gobi is coated with the masala. I'm gonna, then I'm going to put the lid on, put it in a low heat for about six minutes. And I'll, because I want the gobi to take all the flavor of the meat. But in between that, keep on giving a mix because as you can see, all the liquids are dry, so you don't want it to stick. So that's what I'm going to do now, put a lid on, put it on a low heat and then cook it for another 5 minutes. So on the low heat I cooked it for about 6 to 7 minutes with the lid on. And now I'm going to add some garam masala to this and I've got it on a high heat now. The rest of the coriander I've saved some for the garnish. I'm going to add this one here. Give it a good mix. I like the go gobi to be a bit like whole, it's not too like mashed up. You can make it how you like it to be. Guys, right, this is ready now. I'm gonna close the gas and I'm gonna serve this up. So guys, I've served the gobi gosh. I'm just gonna garnish it with the ginger and coriander. That's it guys, this is ready now. Our delicious gobi gosh. I'm serving it with some salad. I made some chicken rolls. I've got a recipe up on my channel if you would like to make them. And I'm serving it with some tandoori roti. And this is from a shop bought tandoori roti. You can make it at home. You can serve it with rice, boiled rice. Guys, give it a try. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna really enjoy this recipe. It's quick and easy. And when you push for time, then you can quickly make this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. I'll see you soon. Allah Hafiz.